H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Okay, so Facebook is my application. Facebook is my application and Excel is the data. My Excel sheet contains the data, right? So when application remains same, this is going to remain same, but the data is going to vary. We call it as data driven testing. Data is going to drive my applica application of, uh, testing of the application. So we call it as data driven testing. Okay, so we're going to see there are certain something called as uh, frameworks which you're going to create uh, that is called as data driven framework, keyword driven framework. We're going to do this stuff in Selenium. And then we have something called as high priority tests. High priority tests are those okay, which are given high priority in the uh, testing project which needs to be tested first. Okay, so all the tests are categorized like these are high priority which have some which have some critical functionality. They have high priority medium priority and low priority. So this is how we categorize the tests in our projects. So we have high priority tests which need to be automated. So these are the kind of tests which we are going to automate using Selenium. Right. So we won't be moving on to the next slide because the time is almost over. So rest of this stuff we will be continuing with tomorrow. Whatever slides we have, we will be continuing with them tomorrow. So before we wind up for today's session, do you guys have any question related to anything what we discussed or even if it is not related to what we discussed? If you have any questions, you can ask. And meanwhile, I will also write my email ID here. Dipinder.h2kinfosys at the rate gmail.com this is my email id where you can send any of your question at any point of time all right so i see a question uh, can you please uh, explain high priority one more time all right so high priority tests are those tests when you're, you're having suppose you have having 20 tests to be executed so before you execute test cases ex by execution i mean you run your test cases that is what we call it as execution right so actually the terms are simil, um, simple but we give them some difficult names so that so as to sound technical right so this is what what we do in projects so execution is nothing when you run your test cases so when you run your 20 test cases you don't start doing it uh, by just, just jumping over that what instead you do is you prioritize them which needs to be tested first and which needs to be tested later. So out of those 20 test cases, there will be some five test cases or six test cases which need to be tested at high priority. After that, there will be some test cases which will be some medium priority test cases which can be tested at some later point. But high priority test cases need to be tested first. So the test cases which need to be tested first, they are called as high priority tests, right? So they can be automated. That is what we want to see. Okay, so a question, I see a question here. You said automation testing is for features which are repeatedly used. Can you mention an example where automation testing is not possible for a feature? All right, so automation testing is not possible for a feature. For example, I'll show you just a minute. If you go to, let's go to facebook.com. Okay, so in this application, and uh, suppose you have to test your facebook.com application. On this application, suppose you have to just verify that this Facebook logo which you see here, is it 
in the correct uh, font which has to be used which has said been said by the client is it the correct font and does it have the correct size which has been said by the client this cannot be automated okay Th this feature is not supported or if you have to just see about the aesthetics of the application if you just have to see whether this Facebook in white looks good with the blue color in the background this cannot be automated right this has to be tested manually okay, there is general rule which is uh, you know accepted in the organizations all the test cases of, of all the test cases which are created there are 70% of the test cases which you can automate but 30% of the test cases which will, will be there which you cannot automate right you have to do them manually right so these are the kinds of test cases which cannot be automated or there is sometimes you you see a captcha is used right uh, a captcha is something which is you know which requires you to authenticate yourself as a human not as a uh, bot okay that is what we call as captcha on the captcha captcha cannot be automated by using any tool okay that is only created to discourage automation so that can also not be tested uh, cannot be automated Okay, so I see question here. So how Java is connected with Selenium? All right. So how Java is connected with Selenium? Selenium, when you're going to uh, work with the tool, just a minute. When you talk about Selenium, Selenium is a tool that doesn't work by itself. You have to give some commands to it to work. The commands which you're going to give them, give it, they are to be given in Java. All right. So there, that is the place where we require Java. All right. So uh, can you please send us a recording? Of course, uh, guys, you will be re receiving a recording for this, or the session which we have. Uh, just done okay the session is being recorded you will be rec uh, receiving a recording for that okay so just uh, to allay your fears uh, what when i say java okay so when when i say java java actually is divided into two components java is firstly divided into two components one is called as core java and one is called as advanced java Core Java includes your very basic concepts like how you create a method, how you create a class, how you create an object. All right? Very, very basic steps are included. Some 10 to 15 concepts are there in Core Java, all right? which gets you, gets you started with uh, Java. But you cannot get a job with Core Java. If you want to move into Java programming, you cannot get a job with Core Java. Okay. But with Selenium, we can move in, move into Selenium by just having a knowledge of core Java because this, this just deals with the basics of Java. This doesn't deal with the actual stuff which Java implements. If you want to move into Java or uh, Java uh, development, then you need to know both core Java and advanced Java. Advanced Java is actually the stuff where the Java is implemented. But for Selenium, we don't need advanced Java. We only need core Java that deals with the basics of Java. So we're going to have the sessions of Java as well, the uh, core Java sessions. So it is going to be approximately some uh, 10 to 12 sessions will be there for Java. Okay. After we understand Java, then only we will be moving towards Selenium. And to understand, just to make sure you are understanding completely, when you when we start working with Java, you will be receiving daily assignments. Okay, so I'll be sending you daily assignments and after some eight or nine hours, I'll be sending a solution as well so that you can verify what you wrote. Is it as per expectations or not? Okay, so this is going to be there. We are going to have these sessions for Java. Just to make sure you understand Java completely, you will be receiving assignments and their solutions as well. So don't worry about that part or you don't worry about to Java. Okay, then I see Selenium is one of the automation tools like QTP. Yes, Selenium is one of the tools like QTP. Absolutely. And 
Yep, I see yeah, no, no other any questions. So anybody who's having any other question apart from this, what we just discussed? Any doubt related to, uh, okay, so you see what are stable tests? Just a minute. Stable tests. So what are stable tests? Stable tests are corresponding to stable applications. So in, what happens is when you are uh, creating the software, we receive a requirement from the client. Okay, a client can be an HSBC or something. Okay, it can be a bank like HSBC or a city bank. Okay, which has given its work to an IT company to create their application. Because Citibank or HSBC, they uh, expertise, they have their expertise in finance, but they don't have any expertise in technology. So what they do, they give their work to some IT company. Now they give some requirement. Okay, it is just like you go to a cake shop and you say that I want a pineapple cake of 5 kg in size and I want to write happy birthday, Ram. These are your requirements. Cake, okay, so your requirements is 5 kg in size, flavor is pineapple. Okay, and then you want to write happy birthday Ram. So these are your requirements. When you, when the uh, chef at the cake bakery starts preparing the cake, right, then you come after five hours, you want to say, no, 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 I don't want to make a pineapple cake. I want to make a chocolate cake instead. Please cancel this. So what you did, you changed your requirement. Same case happens with our, in our projects as well. Since the client himself is not clear what he wants to make due to in, uh, uh, unclear requirements okay or uh, improper understanding what the client says first he's going to say I want to uh, have this thing on my application so after the app that application has created when the software has been created he'll say no 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 I did not want this actually I want something else so what we say we say this is as a change request we are receiving a change request from the client so if you keep receiving the change requests then you so we, we say the application is not stable okay it is receiving change requests okay but if we don't re receive any change request the client is okay with what we have created then we call it as a stable application for stable application we create the automation tests when we create app automation tests for a stable application we call it as a stable test okay All right, so I see what is the difference between coded UI and Selenium. So Selenium as a tool is not a single tool. You're going to see, okay, this question, uh, you'll get more clarity tomorrow when we're going to discuss. Selenium is not a single tool. Okay, Selenium is actually a compon uh, combination of four different components here, you can see. Okay, so Selenium is not a single tool. Right, so this question you will understand clearly the difference between uh, coded UI and Selenium. Right, so just wait for tomorrow's session. So we won't be discussing this today. So we have a question here, uh, is regression testing also done once defects are fixed apart from retesting old features? Yes, when you fix a bug, okay, uh, if a bug has been fixed by the developer, then also we perform regression testing, right? So either you update your application with a new feature or you are fixing a bug, then again, you perform regression testing. All right, so there's one question here. So is that a point clear? Is regression testing also done once effects are fixed? The question is, answer is yes. It is, the answer to this is yes. Once you fix a defect or you update the application, in both the cases, we're going to perform regression testing. Okay, so we have a next question. Do you take section, sessions on weekend? Okay. Do you take sessions on weekdays as well? Can we catch up in those sessions if you miss out any weekend sessions? Yes, I take sessions on weekdays as well, but they are not synchronized. In weekday sessions, we are, you know, much ahead of here. We're just starting. And in weekday sessions, 
we are almost in the middle of the selenium so you won't be able to catch up what we are discussing in that so there is no synchronization between um, weekday session and weekend session so once you are in weekend session you have to be in weekend session only so the next question is do we need javascript for selenium no absolutely no javascript is not required for selenium So guys, any other question you have? Before we wind up the session for today.